guys know my story. Things kind of unravel when the clock strikes 12. I thought it was midnight. I'm more of a morning princess. I got the shoes. Now, how about a hug for your hero? Boy, I hope that's you, Hunter. You know it, Pumpkin. Thank you so much for getting these. And now you have to leave. It, huh? Sorry, sweetie. But I have less than an hour to set up the display for these new shoes. Blondie and Briar are gonna be here any minute, and they can't know about us. Well, maybe. Uh-huh. Sounds great. Then you and You're I the best. Get some coffee. And now I'm here. Thanks for helping you guys. No, we don't have much time, but... No problem, Ashlyn. I see where you have the platform set up, and I would move it 20 inches to the left so the natural light hits the shoes, giving them that halo effect. Just right, right? Um, I guess. <laughs> Briar, thoughts? <sighs> Pesky. <laughs> oh, it is on! And that's why glass slippers are totally overrated. I hope I can open this. Pesky. That is the last straw. Hmm. <laughs> We've only unpacked one box so far. And the store opens in less than a minute. We're never going to make it. You could run. Pesky, but you can't hide! Hunter, no! Wow. So, do we get free shoes for helping or what? You ready for that hug, hero? Or how about a kiss? Pesky! in one of your spell-tacular dresses, Ashlyn. Well, we'd better hurry up. You guys know my story. Things kind of unravel when the clock strikes 12. I thought it was midnight. I'm more of a morning princess. Hi, Ashlyn. <gasps> my stepsisters. Hi, guys. Well, well. First a secret boyfriend. And now a secret fashion show. Not... Very royal. You guys are welcome to stay and watch. We're not here to watch. We're here to model. I mean, you didn't think you and your friends were up to it, did you? We've planned this event for weeks. We can't just let them take over. My destiny says I have to wait on them. What can I do? I cannot tell a lie. Those dresses are spellbinding. have to put a stop to this. Your destiny says you have to wait on them, right? Yeah. <gasps> oh, I get it. Maybe we all wait to see what happens to them when the clock strikes noon. <laughs> What's going on here? Who's responsible for this? They said it was all their idea. I bet you think you're pretty clever, Ashlyn! <laughs> if the shoe fits. <laughs> <laughs> And so, there I was, Professor Jack B. Nimble, about to jump over the candlestick when I realized it wasn't a candle at all, but a nest of fire-breathing baby dragons. <gasps> your assignment is to come up with a tall tale of your own. See, it's just that since I'm cursed to never lie, I'm not real good at stretching the truth. Well, then why don't you try to find a real-life story that is so dramatic that it sounds like a tall tale? Perfect! Wait, where am I going to find one of those? My, what big muscles you have. 
All the better to hug you with. Wait a splinter. You two are dating. What? No, that's silly. Of course we're not. Romantic picnic. Um, heart-shaped cupcakes. Really, guys? Come on. Uh, these aren't romantic. My uncle made them. What about this? Your initials inside a heart? Oh, we didn't do that. Must have been that, uh, woodpecker. Bad woodpecker. Uh. Okay, well, what about this? Ashlyn, I'm so glad we're secretly dating. Love, Hunter Huntsman. I mean, come on. You wrote that for me? <gasps> when Professor Nimble asks me if anything dramatic happened today, I'm gonna have to tell everyone about you guys. I can't lie. What did I do? I'm like, oh, no. Wait a splinter. I think I have an idea. Well, I was out walking in the woods, and I saw something pretty amazing. I saw Hunter and That girl is a nut. In all the right ways. I'm so obvious. I mean, come on. the most hectacular marsh-only restaurant in the village. Well, you're draining your waste into my lake. Waste? Well, that's the price of doing business, little swan. Raven, something terrible has happened, and I need you to cast one of your evil Duchess. spells. You want me to help you after you made that unicorn poke us all in beast training and care class? Sparkles doesn't poke that hard. So, Dex, <laughs> I really need your help. After you two threw my glasses into a seeing double potion? Whatever after. That was funny. Duchess, the lake is in trouble. Oh, I'll get Hunter. Great, because at first I was like, why would he even ask Ashley? <laughs> Come here! That's the last acorn you'll ever throw! Recording! After the video of the unsanitary conditions within the marsh pit kitchen surfaced, bookend health officials discovered the Marsh King was illegally dumping his grease in the nearby enchanted lake. And who do we have to thank for all this? It was me. I saved the lake all by myself. Duchess Swan! Remember that name, people! Seriously? Seriously? Like you didn't see that coming. <laughs> Thank you. Oh no! Where's the caramel? Are you? You don't work here. You just keep plugging away, haircut boy. Don't mind me. Hey there. Aren't you Faybel Thorne, the head cheerleader at Ever After High? What are you doing working? I'm not working. See, I just snuck in here to snoop around, get some info. You catch my drift? But why? Oh, you know, only because my mom is the dark fairy, the one who wasn't invited to Sleeping Beauty's big birth bash. So she cursed the poor sweet babe to sleep for a hundred years. I just want to fulfill my destiny as the baddest fairy of them all. So how about it, handsome? Lend a girl a hand. Handsome? Uh, oh no. I would delight in assisting you in your quest, fair yeah. maiden. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, hey there, little fella. An invitation? I wonder who it's from. Ashlyn Ella. You and a guest are cordially invited to the Blue Moon Forest Fest. Tonight, the Forest Fest? <gasps> That's like the 
most exclusive party ever. You can't even find it without an invitation. It says I get to invite someone. Do you want to go? Of course, but the new Multihex Theater opens tonight, and I promised I'd see a movie with daring. <laughs> but it should be easy finding someone. I mean, who wouldn't kill to be your plus one to the Blue Moon Forest Fest? <laughs> <gasps> Looks like it's time to crash the biggest party ever after. I always oh, get to go to that <gasps> One large coffee thing with caramel stuff and some whip whatever on the house. And wouldn't you know, it's always been my biggest dream to go to a forest fest. Oh, well... I was hoping I could go. Wait, if you're here, then... <gasps> Wanted to pick me up, not to knock me over. They told you everything was waiting for you. They told you everything was set in stone. But now you're feeling like a different. Enemy.